Hey, what's up, Ray Jack? Ray Jacks. Uh, really quickly, I want to say that all the Jet Set music is going to be um, from a video, and the, and the link is going to be in the description below. Going into private lobby, uh, probably with my friend, uh, the AFK channel. Uh, make sure to go check him out on YouTube. His link will be in the description. He's not here in the party yet, but he will be soon. So really quickly, I just want to talk about the patch notes. Um, so first off, let's start with just random stuff. Let me go to my notes. All right. So um, they've increased critical damage pilots deal to reapers and multiplayer. Basically, uh, reapers have critical spots just like titans, and um, but the damage pilots deal to them is increased. Uh, reduce the area affected by the nuclear eject screen shake. Not sure what that means, but this one makes sense. Nuclear eject no longer fills your titan meter. Some comfort here. What happened? Stand by for Titanfall. Ah! All right, guys. I know this is that was a little bit dramatic. Yeah, I think. Who, who, who doesn't like, you know, getting those nuclear ejection feeds and then getting your brand new Titan and call it in, and even without warp, I will come in right before you land. So that was fun, but um, we'll always miss you. But um, right now it is the 19th that I'm editing it. This was recorded on the 18th, and um, the patch still hasn't taken place in um, PC. So, yeah, maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't, I don't know, I kind of hope it doesn't. It's really upsetting. Um, uh, what was it? Um, they capped the max range of Reaper's weapons and attrition, and Prime Titans can use Nose Art, which I'm super glad about. I love Prime Titans. What? Oh, they disabled it, what's going on? It's their Prime Ion. That's so weird, it said they would do that in the patch today. Let's go to FAQ Patch Notes. And I remember. What? I could have sworn they. Oh, maybe they only did it to, um, what's called? To console. I'm on PC right now. But, um, and they. Unfortunately, they buffed the devotion too. But, uh, and tone and everything. So I'm gonna start a game, um, soon. And I'll explain everything about that. So stay tuned. Really, really, really sorry about um, the fact that I was being super loud at the voice over this. Yet again, let me go to my notes. Um, let's see. Let's start with the type. Okay. Alright. So let's start with tone. Tone. Reduced salvo cores damage. You're going to be hearing a little bit of background talking. Just ignore it. It's just me talking to a little bit. You can barely hear. What the heck? There's a vent here? Um, let's try that again. So if you're on this little lane there, you can go jump up. Keep jumping up to see if there's an exit. Oh. And there is! Oh my god, I never knew that, guys. I actually never knew that. And I know I discovered it during the gameplay, but still, this is absolutely insane. I don't know if that's on the upside, but... Bye bye, Grunt. Anyways. So then reduce double course damage with stuff. Reduce the damage fall from salvo for rockets. I guess so like per um let's say someone's 120 yards away, uh it'll do the same damage as if someone is directly in front of you, like five meters away from you, like five yards uh, in front of you. So I guess that's what they mean. Um increase the cooldown of sonar pulse. So sonar pulse is his tactical, I believe. He shoots out this little uh, sonar thing. It's like the pulse blade. It uh, sends out like three pulses, uh, not at the same time, but uh, not spontaneous, but at a different time. Uh, and it'll show all enemies, pilots, grunts, titans. Um, and if you're like aiming at a hostile titan and you just shoot it um, at them, it'll add a, an extra ring of locking on, so it'll be easier to lock on. Uh, how do I explain it? 
So yeah, like, let's say it, it takes about four shots. You have to hit another enemy titan around four times, I believe, to get a lock on onto them. So if you shoot them, all the lag, if you hit them with a sonar pulse, it'll count as shooting them. Um, and you could shoot, like, the wall that they're in front of, it doesn't matter. Uh, reduce the projectile size of the 40 millimeter. I'm not sure how you could do that without it being 40 millimeters still, but I guess if you... I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm being technical here. Um, I guess if you, um, make more powder into the casing, it's technical. Let me not talk about that right now. Um, tone burst loader improvements. So basically, right here, I'll show you right now. Okay, so now I am in tone. So you see I'm aiming down sights and it fills up those three bullets right there. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then that's the sonar pulse. Um, so that's that. Um, it's very simple. But it's very useful. So all you gotta do is throw a sonar pulse at the enemy tank. What? Is that noise? I'm not shooting. Sure. Oh my god. Oh my god, AFK is here. Guys. I just noticed that. Uh, yeah, again, I'm actually like I was again. Anyway, sorry about that. But um, so let's continue with tone. Uh, so this video is going to get interrupted. So I'm glad I'm having a voice over this because he's kind of coming into my game and just destroying. Me. Not really. We destroyed me because he killed AI. But um, we did some matches after that, and I obviously kicked his butt wild. And there he is throwing his softballs at me. Yeah, like softballs on his There you go. Um, anyways, so, slight presentation, please, I'm not sure what that means. What? Is the audio behind? Whatever. Um, audio, audio cues. Also not sure what that means. Yep, the audio is behind. Forget about that. Um, and leaving ADS now clears the charges. I'm not sure if we're talking about burst loader, because when you leave, um, burst loader, like when you're when you have all three bullets loaded or I don't know it could be two bullets loaded when you have some bullets loaded and you get out of ADS the charges are cleared already let's move on to the North Star New North Star this is she got she and like the rest of the Titans got good stuff except for Iron uh, remove the damage fall off from like for rockets so that means let's hit yet again I'm pretty sure we're talking about range so if someone was really far away it would be less damage than if they're right super close um, swap into some AI there. I um, mean, increased dash regenerate, that's really good. Um, Ronin, increased dash regenerate, that's good also, so his dash is faster. Um, Scorch, ADSing with his primary weapon will display the projectile pack. That's what I was talking about earlier. Oh my god, he took my battery, you scrub. I'll be kill him later here. But, um, so basically, aiming down the sights, like, I don't think I did it earlier. But, um, aiming down your sights with a scorch, uh, with the, oh my god, he's got a legion. With the T203, uh, thermite launcher. What that does is it goes and it shows the projectile path, like if it, like as if you're using the softball. Um, and if you don't know what the softball looks like, or that projectile path, um, this is what it looks like right up straight. Okay, so I couldn't find a picture online of the top one. It didn't all oh, the lag harbor. I didn't want to unlock it and waste my credits on that. Sorry about the lag. I honestly don't want to say so much. I uh, fixed the bug with the vortex shield where reflected bullets will deal a high amount of splash damage. So let's say I miss my target by a few feet. Um, it'll still kill them and, and not. Uh, I'm sorry. It'll still kill them. That's what would have happened. But now with the new buff. You have to hit them directly with the bullets, or else it's not a kill. <sighs> and now with the guns. So, um, I'll be giving you an example like right now uh, with the Duocean. Added very far damage settings at the, um, which reduces its damage at a distance, which is not good. Added more kick to the first shot, which you'll see right now. Alright, guys. So here's a single shot. You can see how much it vibrates. Free. Or, uh, re how much recoil is now, so that's the steam fire. So, a lot of recoil, man. And it makes single sh which makes single shots more, diff more difficult. An increased view kick during sustained fire to create a slightly larger spread 
like right now. So now onto the MG, I'm sorry, onto the Archer. Fix the homing speed so it will once again track targets as expected and in reduce the projectile speed. I'm sorry. For the MGL, reduce the projectile speed and increase the fuse time. The Kraber can no longer be shot as a semi automatic if the player presses the reload button at the same time as the fire button. I really never knew that. <laughs> um, Titans that are invulnerable while performing executions will have a, their life bar is colored gold, flashing and communicate their invulnerability. Basically, if you're executing someone, it will still be uh, invulnerable. Nobody can hurt you, but your life bar will be flashing gold so everybody knows that you're performing executions if they can't see you. Um, added some out of bounds triggers and props to block off areas for crash light and complex. And when switching weapons while editing the loadout, your game will not preserve your mod choices if possible. I think that was still already there. And Ronin now shows the sword in the loadout menu. Um, and a few more things. Credit symbol, credit purchasable items will now show a credit symbol instead of a lock symbol. Friends names will now show up in the chat room and in game. In game is already there, they just add the chat room. And Prime Titans cannot use nose arts. That's not true. I don't think this buff is taking place yet. Oh my god, the lag is horrible. I think the buff took place yet in PC. But uh yeah. Uh and cap max range. Oh, I already said that. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like a comment and subscribe. It has been Lilikar, and I am out.